Hey, what's going on? This is Tower Green Regiment. So today we're gonna do a grocery shopping video for you. I've done these videos in the past. They've uh, been received very, very well. But this time I'm gonna do it with a mask on, so we'll check it out. But listen, this video is gonna be all about our June plant-based challenge. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight into what I eat and give, give you some other options of what's out there, but of course, what's plant-based. All right, let's go inside. All right, don't be alarmed, don't be alarmed. This is, this is my mask that I use when I go out in public, but listen. We're in the frozen fruit section, and I want to show you some of the frozen fruits that I love to have in my smoothies every day. So we have some blueberries here. Love frozen blueberries. Got some uh, strawberries. Love those as well. And we have some frozen cherries. So every morning, I do a cherry and blueberry smoothie. But yeah, definitely add these frozen fruits into your smoothies. And of course, elite protein. Now I do want you to be careful when looking at some of these frozen fruit options. Let's take this acai for example. When you look at it here, it has 12 grams of sugar. But the problem is the sugar comes from cane sugar. So instead I would go with the zero sugar option. So we have here some plant-based meat options that I actually eat sometimes. So this Karen, I eat them every now and then. I've tried the Alpha Burger. It's okay, but I will let you know my favorite as soon as we get to that section. Almond milk I use in all my smoothies, sometimes coconut milk, sometimes hemp milk, even flax milk. So here's a, a plant-based section. Now I want you to check this out because it's somewhat empty. I mean, they have cleared out the plant-based options, but there's a couple brands I like here. So this Light Life Tempeh. Now I like this Tempeh. They have some other products. I don't think that I don't think are as tasty, but I like this one. Let's see what else here. We can go with. Oh yeah. Okay. So this Satan here. I do like this. What I do though, it's it's really salty. So what I like to do is rinse off some of the sodium that's in the sauce. But this is really good here. Satan. It's not gluten free though. So if you are gluten intolerant and you're not gonna want this. Follow your heart cheese. Now, as you can see, they're cleared out, but the, the kind that I like is follow your heart. It's the regular American slices. So just so you know, that vegan cheese tastes unbelievable. Of course, you need to pick up your greens. You have to, it's a must. So we have some kale here. I always add kale into my smoothies with elite protein. We have some rainbow chard, delicious. We have some collard green as well. All of these plant-based foods are great. The medicinal benefits are incredible. And every one of us needs as many greens in our diet as possible. You've been told that ever since you were a young child. And guess what? Things haven't changed. Oranges, make sure you are having your oranges. Vitamin C, you know we're dealing with this crazy pandemic right now. So as much vitamin C, as possible so they talk about eating the rainbow and what that means is making sure that you get as many colorful fruits and vegetables in your diet as possible a lot of antioxidants in there so make sure you do that so people ask me what type of snacks do I have during the day right here we have almonds walnuts pecans nuts are incredible and you definitely want to make sure that you travel with the nuts so you can pack up nuts before you go off to a, a trip to the beach whatever you need but these are great snack options for you so here's a breakfast option for you this is what i do in the morning i'll have some steel cut oats but there's also rolled oats you can have as well but i like the steel cut oats and i have them with a scoop of elite protein i love them it works well and then i go off to the park and work out so right here we have some azuki bean. If you've never heard of an azuki bean, very high in protein. So I definitely eat azuki beans a couple of times a week along with lentils. Love the lentils, black beans. I will do quinoa. Navy beans are great as well. This right here, this is called chicken. See that, natural chicken. That's not plant-based. So therefore for June, it's not on the menu. All right, so I'm gonna show you pretty much my most favorite plant-based meat. 
It's called Beyond Beef. I really like Beyond Beef. The one thing is the taste. Two, the macronutrients. It has a good amount of protein. I love the ingredients. You know, a lot of people say that these plant-based meats are, are, are processed. Well, everything's processed, but here's, here's, here's the situation. The ingredients are actually good ingredients. So you could go to the store, take a look for yourself, but Beyond Meat is awesome. You have the Beyond Sausage there. So I eat Beyond Meat just about every day. Now there's some other plant-based options here for you as well. I've tried them all. And I have to tell you, right now, as it stands, Beyond Beef to me is the best. Beyond Meat, the company, is the best. I'm sure some other companies will improve on the taste and their overall profile, but I just got to tell you what I eat, and it's all about Beyond Meat for me at this point. And look, look down here, though. This is where the Beyond Patties would be, and they're gone. So what that means is people are buying up all these plant-based options. So just so you know, this plant-based thing, it's actually becoming a lifestyle for a lot of people. All right, so this is the meat section, right? Now, beef is not plant-based. You already know chicken is not plant-based. Fish is not plant-based. No animal products for the month of June. I have to make this statement because I am going to get the questions. Is this plant-based? So I want you to look. Because none of these items here, especially that right there, that bacon, not plant-based. So, just so you know, because I'm going to get the question still, I know. So, the good thing, if you can't live without these foods, don't worry. Because July 1st, they will be here waiting for you. But why don't you go ahead, take the challenge, and you will notice an incredible, incredible energy boost. And why not improve your health for the month of June? So, let me show you some additional vegan, plant-based snacks. And you can, if you're confused about if a product is gluten-free or plant-based, hopefully the store will indicate it for you. There's some other plant-based chips. Now, be careful because sometimes something says veggie or vegetarian, but it's not 100% plant-based. Sometimes they'll add honey in there or they'll add some other plant, uh, actually not plant, some other animal ingredient. So just always look at the labels, always check out the ingredients. I do like Simply Mill though, because their crackers are made of almond flour. So definitely a good choice. Now let me show you some, <laughs> you've probably seen these type of cookies. These cookies are vegan, but they're unhealthy. And there's a lot of unhealthy vegan food. For June, this plant-based challenge is a healthy plant-based challenge. So just know that. So no, these are not on the list. So pasta. Now, I'm not a huge pasta eater, Except if it's bonza pasta. The reason why is because it's made of chickpeas. Delicious. So I would recommend bonza pasta if you're going to eat pasta at all. Definitely the way to go. All right. So, you know, last time I did this video, plant-based products were like all over the place. I mean, it was a plethora. This shopping visit, I mean, there's a few products that just were not in stock. So I'm gonna have to, I'll tell you about those products, but just check out our Instagram stories. I'll send you, I'll show you a picture so you're able to see them. But I guess this whole meat shortage, I guess it's real. So people are buying plant-based products now. So make sure you go to the store, check out some of these options. But you know what? I guess it's a good thing. More people are eating more plant-based and that's what I want you to do for June. Build up your immune system, get your health in order. I'll see you soon.